had to check on the cattle first thing. I didn't want to wake you. Where have you been? I've hardly seen you for days. <sighs> Busy with stroppy clients. I had to make sure my whole herd didn't come down with bovine rhinotracheitis, but luckily it was a false alarm. I'm sorry I didn't make Zach and Lisa's homecoming party, but it was just unavoidable. How are they? Lisa's terminally ill. Knocked us all for six and all. Her and my dad have known about it for a while. Oh, what is it? Can she not get treatment? They've tried treatment, but it didn't work. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but um, it causes organ failure. We're talking months. Right, I'll um, I'll drop the kids off before I go to work. Kira, I'm so sorry. You should have said. Well, I rang you, but you never called back. Then it's not the kind of thing that you leave in a text, is it? And anything else I can do today, apart from opening up? Well, we'll probably just have to play it by ear, to be honest, but you'll probably get some extra shifts later. You got it, boss. But will you please give the rest of the family all my best? No one's going like that. She's not dead. Oi! Well, this doesn't need doom and gloom and pity, does she? She's not going anywhere yet. Roger that. Glad to hear it. I need to take it out on him. Hi. Hey. I'm really sorry I couldn't make it yesterday. I'm sure Lisa would understand. Well, I was thinking of going to go and see her in a bit for a wee blether. Do you think that'd be all right? Yeah, of course. Better late than never. It's so good to see you, Lisa. And you. How's the family? Good, good, yeah. Mm. Isaac's good. And he's growing like a weed. <laughs> and Marty, he's, he's great. Mm. <laughs> he's changed quite a lot too, as I'm sure you've heard. I probably walked past him in the street. Ah, well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he reminds me of John. <laughs> His dad. That same cheeky smile. Yeah, the same twinkle as John had. And I can't believe how big Isaac's got. No, I know. Well, I'll have him working out in the field soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have missed you. You cheer me up. <laughs> how about we have a girls' night in? If you feel up to it. It's not me, it's Belle. She's not coping too well. She went through hell with Lachlan and I should have been here to be here for her. But I was that poorly at the time. Yeah, but Zach was there and all of us. Stop beating yourself up about it, Lisa. But Belle's a lot stronger than you think. But I want to know how you're doing. Oh, you know. And that's the thing, I don't... I can't imagine how you must be feeling. I'm fine. I don't want to bring everyone down. There's nothing can be done about it anyway. Your trouble is, you're always putting everyone else's feelings first. That's me told. Good. <laughs> because you need to think about you now. I've never been one to wallow in self-pity. Oh, Lisa, you're not. But this is happening to you. So you're allowed to feel sad too. And the family, we just... We want to help and support you. So please. Please, just lean on us for a change. And how are you coping, Zach? Well, if Lisa weren't so strong, I don't think I would be. Yeah, she's an amazing woman. Yeah, tough enough for the two of us. 